Hey guys! Uh, so I feel like it's been a hot minute um, since I have done a video. Um, I tried to pre-record some of them because we had a baby. Uh, so that is pretty time consuming, honestly. In case you were curious. Um, anyways, <laughs> so today I wanted to do one of my more go-to dramatic looks, uh, if you can call it that, um, because not really going anywhere much at all anymore, but I am going to my friend Jen's, my best friend, going over to her house to hang and she knows that I don't get out much, especially now with two little ones. So uh, we are going to play with some palettes. So I'm really in a Morphe mood today. So I've been using the Truth or Bear palette as my sort of everyday makeup palette. It's just I don't know, it's just got a pretty good amount of what I would consider kind of neutrals. Um, I would say they're mostly cool toned and mostly matte, but not completely. So I feel like I've been using that a lot. And then what I've been doing with this like sort of smoky eye is then putting some sort of pop of color on my lid. So I use one of these neutral tones and build it up in the crease in the outer corner and then some type of pop of color on the lid. So that's what we're gonna get to do today. Uh, so let's get started. I don't think this brush, it doesn't look clean, but just go with me, okay? Um, so I'm gonna start off in the color that is called On The Real. Which one, this one, okay. So it's um, like a grayish light brown. I'm putting it on a Morphe M441. And I'm going to Um, so, buffing this, uh, so for me, with my hooded eyes, I go above the crease. Um, that just looks best on me. So if you have, I don't know, normal shaped eyes, you can go in the crease. You know, does you good. Obviously, already did my base, so I am not trying to get this uh, to do any like over blending because then I'm, you know, kind of in trouble. So I do like to have that darker portion out here, uh, but I also like to sort of blend it up a little bit. I feel like it looks good with my hood and my eye shape. So uh, if you don't really experiment uh, how you blend, I know everyone does, or I don't know, maybe this is gonna change soon, but I feel like everyone does the cat eye shape um, just sort of instinctively, but uh, I would play a little bit and see if you actually find that to be the most flattering um, on your eye shape, because it may not be. And uh, yeah, you might enjoy playing with other ways of blending. I don't know if you can hear that music, but Sean is playing, I don't even know, some video game, and it's like, I think it's like the Wild West. I am really bad with time periods. <laughs> I will literally just say back in the day as my way to define when something happened, and that is uh, pretty much the vaguest thing I could do. So if it's like, <laughs> yeah, if it's before like the 60s, <laughs> I just say back in the day because I don't know when it was. I feel like I can typically identify back till then. Right? Does that seem right? All right, we've got a good start and um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold off on adding any more. I will but uh, I wanna figure out what color I want in my crease because we have, or in my, um, on my lid, because we have options. So like if you wanted to go pastel, I have the, um, what is this? This is the Morphe Icy Fantasy palette. So if you wanted to go, you know, like you could do that. We could go like pastel, light. Or we have my always favorite Boss Babe palette, um, which has, just a lot of like rich colors, boss mood. I 
always call it Boss Babe, whatever, Boss Mood palette, uh, which just has a lot of like rich tones um, that are, again, not light. They're all pretty deep. Um, so I just have to see, probably, I'm probably going, okay, I'm gonna do Boss Mood palette. Um, I feel like doing purple. I feel like I haven't done purple in a while. So, all right, all right, peeps. So I'm gonna use now, I have a unique deluxe brush and I think in the inner portion of my lid, I'm going to mix two colors, which I know is weird and maybe not all that convenient, but I just, um, so I want a light purple. So the, light, the purples are all in this corner and none of them are particularly light. So I think I'm gonna take Light of the Party and mix it with, I'm trying to see which one of these is lighter. Uh, I'm gonna do Indiglo Queen. Okay, so I'm gonna mix these two shimmery shades in an attempt to make a lighter-ish purple sparkly color. Okay, so not very light, but sparkly and purple, so can't have it all. Um, actually, it's not too bad as far as light goes. Okay, that was a good plan. Okay, and now for the outer portion, I know I'm just using the same brush because who cares. Um, I'm gonna go really dark. I think I'm gonna do Transformer, which is this super deep purple, and I might mix it a little bit with Daredevil, which is another purple, but it has some shimmer to it. Um, okay, so Transformer, and then Daredevil. Just kind of tapping it on so that I make sure I get the shape that I want. Up, I do have some fallout because of that tapping. Maybe not the best plan. So this deeper color is having a little bit of a blue tinge to it. Okay, but I'm bringing it up and into slash above my crease. I'm blending it with the other color. Oh, I like that. If you have hooded eyes like me or downturned eyes, make sure when you go to that outer edge that you keep it somewhat lifted. Don't go and just have that dark color on the lower portion. It will sort of drag the appearance of your eye down. It's something that I've, that I've learned the hard way. So try to just sort of blend it out straight. Um, I know you can do cleanup afterwards, but if you're like me and you did your base first, you're unable to do that much of a cleanup, you know? Let's start off a little softer and go into Oh So Nude, which is like a, a slightly darker than my skin tone, like beigey color. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of On The Real, which is that transition color we used. Um, just sort of blend that in. I think I'm better off, you know, starting off on a little bit of a softer note, and I also always start blending on the outer corner and then go in. Okay, so I do like this, but I do want it a bit deeper. Um, so let's go into on the reel and start that on that outer corner and blend it in. So we can always add more, much harder to take it away. Oh, see, I like that. Okay, now maybe we can add a bit of purple. Um, so let's go into uh, the lightest purple color that we used. We mixed Light of the Party with Indiglo Queen. So let's just go into Indiglo Queen, which is a shimmery purple, and we're just going to put this on the outer portion and then blend it in. Black eyeliner, uh, so I have NYX in black. Uh, it's the retractable one. <gasps> no! It's out! <gasps> How could I? Oh my gosh, my life is over. Okay, never mind, I have another one. It's exactly the same. Wow. This is... <laughs> Sweet Lord. Okay, this is why I have a problem. Okay, so this is the same thing. NYX, black, retractable one. Um, I usually put the retractable ones in my 
like travel carrying case in my purse because uh, I don't have to worry about needing to sharpen them. This has been my go-to lip for a hot minute now and I have been loving it. So it is L'Oreal, I know I've used it before, L'Oreal Matte Crayon in, okay, I'll list it below. For some reason, I can't find the name of it. The cap fell off, which is super inconvenient. But anyways, it is so good. So it smells good, it's long lasting. I know smells good is kind of random, but whatever it does. Um, I feel like it's the perfect, like, cool tone, mauve, lavender honey, honey lavender, one of those two. So, it's just so nice. And then from here on out until, like I can go a couple of hours and the next thing I can do is add um, like lip gloss over it or um, lip balm and that's it. And it's good to go. Oh, I definitely just got mascara on me, but you can't really see it because I'm in all black. This is it guys. So a nice smoky, you know, purple look. Uh, and obviously, you know, could be an everyday, could be a fancy thing, whatever you want. Um, and this lip I've been wearing like every day. If I don't want it to be as bold, I will put on a lip balm first and then put it on. So it doesn't have the same, you know, lasting power or pigment, but uh, it still looks nice and it's the same color. So um, thank you guys so much.